Hello and welcome to the part six of a series of tutorials on Web API 2 and Retrieve Framework. We have seen the data transfer objects in the previous uh, part that was part five and this time we will create a JavaScript client. And in this section you will create the client which is uh, with the knockout.js library, uh, JavaScript library using HTML and JavaScript. And we'll bring the client application in stages, showing a list of books, showing a detail of books, adding a new book. The knockout library uses the model view view model, MVVM pattern, as you see in this diagram. So server side is web API and it calls the client through the Ajax calls and the client has got a model with this JSON and view model with the JavaScript library and a data binding with the view or the HTML or presentation layer. Now, the view is data bound to the view model. Updates to the view model are automatically reflected in the view. The view model also gets events from the view such as button clicks. This approach makes it easy to change the layout and UI of your app because you can change the bindings without rewriting any code. For example, you might show a list of items as a, a unordered list UL within tags and then change it later to a table. Now in the Visual Studio from the tools menu, from the tools menu and from the package manager console within NuGet package manager, we'll install knockout JS package. At the same time, we'll do we'll add a JavaScript file named app.js to the scripts folder. Add new item. Uh, I'd like to go for the JavaScript file. Okay, so the JavaScript file and name is app. And I will copy the previously copied code in this app.js file. Now, in the knockout, this observable. Observable class enables data binding. When the contents of an observable change, the observable notifies all of the data bound controls so that they can update themselves. The observable array is the array version of the observable. To start with, our view model has two observables, books and error. So one is books. It holds the list of books and error contains an error message if an Ajax call fails. The get all books function makes an Ajax call to get the list of books. So books URI, it gets the Ajax call to the books API to get the list of books. Then it pushes the result onto the books array. That is this line. The knockout.apply bindings and it gets a view model passed onto it is the part of the knockout library. It takes the view model as the parameter and sets up the data binding. Now add a script bundle. Now what we'll do is, you know, we'll go for app start, app start and uh, bundle config.cs we'll look for bundling now bundling is a feature in the asp.net 4.5 that makes it easy to combine a bundle multiple files into a single file 
Bundling reduces the number of requests to the server, which can improve page load time. So after opening this bundle config.cs within uh, app start folder, we'll copy this new code. We'll add, add the script bundle below the style bundle last paragraph and build the application and go for the next. Thanks for the watching. Thank you.